This is the visual abstract of the paper damage detection in structural hair monitoring using hybrid convolution neural network and recurrent neural network by the group of authors from University of Transport and Communications, Vietnam. The process of damage identification in structural hair monitoring gives us a lot of practical information about the current status of the inspected structure. The target of the process is to detect damage status by processing data collected from sensors followed by identifying the differences between the damage and the undamaged state. Different machine learning techniques have been applied to attempt to extract features or knowledge from vibration data. However, they need to learn prior knowledge about the factor affecting the structures. In this paper, another method of structural damage detection is proposed using hybrid convolutional neural networks and recurrent neural networks due to the fact that uh, the CNN is unable to identify the correlations of the measured data. So to solve this problem, CNN will extract the required features while the classifications of the features will be performed by RNN. In the proposed method, the input time series data will be given to the convolution neural network to extract the required feature automatically. In the network, convolution is created by the moving of the kernel along with the time series flow by multiplications of the kernel's elements. The multiplications results are added together, then a non-linear activations function for the obtained value is conducted. Activations maps are generated, which are also the special features of the data. However, once being fully connected, these features are time independent, so they could not be used for time series data. This is why RNN is applied thanks to its ability to capture the time dependent features. These features are then fed to the soft mark activation functions for the classifications of the damaged state. So, the result has been tested on a two sets of data one is from Los Alamos National Labor Laboratories, and the other one is from Z24 Bridge in Switzerland. So both, in both of the cases, the result has shows that uh, the proposed CNN plus RNN method gets more accurate results in damaged state and undamaged state, and it can also capture the historical features of the data. In conclusion, CNN can extract the features from vibration data and the combinations of RNN and CNNs. Uh, uh, features help us to get the result with a much higher level of accuracy. So in the future works, we will try to compare the performances between the machine learning methods for damage detections of structure. Thank you for your attention.